you want to make sure your device is running iOS 8.3. You, know, you could check in settings, general, about, and you know, look at version, and it will tell you right there. As you can see, you know, I am running iOS 8.3 on this device. And you guys will need a computer in order to jailbreak your device. You know, it does need to be a Windows computer, unfortunately. You know, there's no Mac version available right now. You know, hopefully there will be one in the future. You know, if there is ever one, I will be sure to update the annotations in this video and also the description down below. But as of right now, again, this is only for Windows. And there are some things that you should know before you jailbreak your device. So the first thing is you want to make sure that you do disable your passcode slash touch ID. You want to have absolutely no security on your device. So again, disable passcode and touch ID completely. Make sure there's absolutely no security on your device. You want to have it so you get slides unlocked just like this and your device just unlocks. That's how you want to have it for the jailbreak. After the jailbreak is complete, we could re-enable it. But again, just for the actual process, we need to have it off. Same thing goes for find my iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch in the iCloud settings. Make sure that you do disable this but you know, before you jailbreak your device, but again, after the jailbreak is complete, you could re-enable it. Again, it's just for the process. We need to have these two things disabled. Now, with that being said, we are ready to jailbreak our device. So go ahead and connect it to your computer, and you will need to have some things on your computer in order for the jailbreak to work. So this is the first thing you're going to need. It's the Taiji jailbreak tool. This is the Taiji website. And you guys just want to scroll down here until you see these links over here. And this is the one you want, the one that says 8.1.3 to 8.3. Click on this link right here. We're ready to start. So the first thing you want to do is right click on the Taiji break zip file. Then you're going to see this option right here, extract all. That's what you want to click. So go ahead and hit extract all, then hit extract one more time. And then you're going to be getting this progress bar up here. And then you're going to be brought right here. And here is the Taiji Break application. So from here, you want to right click on this file. And then you're going to select Run as Administrator. And then you're going to click Yes. And then you're going to be getting this pop up right here. And again, at this point, if it's not already connected, just go ahead and connect your device to the computer through the USB cable. OK, so once your device is detected by the jailbreak tool, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see two checkboxes. One's going to say Cydia. Then there's going to be one beneath it. You want to uncheck the one beneath Cydia. So the second one, just uncheck that. Then you click the little X at the top here. And again, the only one you want checked is the Cydia one. You do not want the second one checked. And once it's looking like this, we're ready to begin. So we could go ahead and select this blue button down here. So just go ahead and click that button. And now you just have to be patient. You're going to be getting a percentage on your computer. And as you can see, our device just turned black, and we have a little spinny wheel on it now. And now your device is rebooting. You're going to be getting the Apple logo. And throughout this entire process, just be patient. You know, never unplug your device or close the jailbreak tool. Again, just wait for everything to happen. Be patient. And if you get this pop-up saying storage almost full on your device, just go ahead and select done. That's not true. That's just a little glitch with the jailbreak. Nothing to worry about. And your device's screen will go black again. And here's the spinny wheel. And eventually, the Taiji jailbreak tool on your computer will show, show a little smiley face, and your device will reboot. And once your device has rebooted, you can just go ahead and slide it to unlock. And again, don't pay attention to any storage almost full errors. That's just you know a little glitch with the jailbreak, nothing to worry about. Then slide over to wherever you have available space on your home screen, and there we have Cydia. And you want to go ahead and tap on Cydia. And the first time you do open it up, you will be getting this screen, the preparing file system screen on your device. This can take up to about eight minutes depending on your device. So just be patient. You know, don't interrupt your device. Don't click any buttons. Don't tap anything. Don't do not unplug it either. Just leave everything as it is and wait for the process to complete. You'll know when the process is complete because your device will display the app logo again. And here we go. As you can see, we just received the app logo on our device again. And the you know initializing of the you know Cydia file system has completed. And once your device comes back to the lock screen again, you could just slide to unlock and then open Cydia again. And this time when you open it, it's going to be ready to go, ready to use. And here we are. As you can see, we're now in Cydia running iOS 8.3. So now at this point, if you guys did have to disable your passcode or find my iPhone, as I told you guys at the beginning of the video, you can now go back into settings on your device and re-enable those things. The jailbreak process is complete. You could also just go ahead and unplug your device. And of course, you could close out of everything on your computer, you know, all the Taiji you know, stuff, everything like that. And also, if you want to delete the Taiji jailbreak tool from your computer, of course, you can do that now. Now, with all that being said, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.